Hi and welcome students. Today's lesson will cover how to personalize your desktop on Windows 10. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that we see here is this is my desktop. I'm currently using a solid fill of gray as the background. If you ever want to change the background of your desktop, all you have to do is right click anywhere in the desktop area. Make sure not to click on any icons along the left side, but I could right click right here and go to personalize down here at the bottom. If I click personalize, it'll bring open a personalization menu, which is actually in the settings uh, application. And so in this area, we can adjust the background. And so right here in the background, we see this is uh, showing us a sample of the background. And I can change it from a solid color to a picture or to a slideshow of pictures. So if you want your background to change consist or constantly, you can choose slideshow. And that one will actually uh, choose a, an album that you can use. So for instance, I'm going to switch mine back up here to solid color. And I can change it to any of these colors. And you can see what it'll look like in the background. But I'm going to show you how to change it to a picture. So let's go ahead and click on picture right here. And then I can choose from a list of pictures. Now these ones over here are default pictures that Windows 10 give you, gives you. And I can actually browse for a picture and choose a picture that I want such as this one right here. I've already saved it from the internet and it's this one right here of this paint. So I click that and then I see when I minimize it, there we go, it's been updated. So that's my new background. So that's how that looks. Uh, you could choose a different way for it to look on the screen such as fill, fit, stretch, tile, center and span. I'll show you what tile looks like if you were to do that. If you have a smaller image, it'll tile it along here stretch will basically stretch it across the entire page and then um, you see your other options here center will center it within the vertical and horizontal lines on the page now let's go here to colors what does colors do well if I go here to colors I could choose a color where it says automatically pick an accent color from my background you can see it's showing orange right here so if I click this it's now displaying all my icons in orange let's say I don't want that to be my default color I could change this to off and then choose a color that I like. Say I want blue. So right there I choose blue and now if I hit the start menu you will see that everything is now in blue. You can change the color to any of the colors listed here. Alright now it says show color on start, taskbar, action center, and title bar. If I click this to on, take a look at the slight change down here at the bottom. Everything is now kind of blue. I'm going to choose a few others so you can see what they look like and you can see that it changes the taskbar down at the bottom. And then it says make the taskbar and action center transparent. If I turn this off, it will make it transparent so that I can no longer see my background showing through. So I'm going to change mine to say this blue color right here. And so now that's how it all looks. Okay. And now if you go right here to the lock screen, the lock screen is the screen that appears before you type in your password on your Windows 10 desktop. So you can make this also a picture, Windows Spotlight, or um, a slideshow. Mine is currently set to the default settings, but you need one more or more than one picture to have a slideshow. So if you want yours to display a family album or something along those lines, you could choose a folder that contains a lot of pictures for the slideshow. Windows Spotlight, if I click right here, it'll show me a Windows Spotlight. It's currently loading up and I can basically choose an app uh, to show in detail. So if I have a new message or new mail or something like that, it'll display right here. Okay, so if I choose Windows Spotlight, it changes the background slightly and it might may tell me some new things that are going on in Windows. All right, so I'll leave that as Windows Spotlight and then I'll click here on themes. Themes will adjust your uh, the settings on how your overall view um, of your background, colors, sounds, and uh, screensaver all at once and you can choose a theme. Um, you, I'm th pretty sure you could find themes online as well for this. So there we go. And then finally, the start uh, button, which is in the bottom left, if I click that, it'll change up these options. So if I click show more tiles, it'll allow more tiles to be shown. Okay, again, you don't really need this on um, if you only have certain tiles like mine right here. And then I could go right here, occasionally show suggestions in Start. So they may show you suggestions of different things you may be interested in. And then show most used apps. This area is right up here. That's this one. Now keep in mind, these will only show up if they are not contained in your 
uh, start menu or along your taskbar down here. So you should be able to customize those. So you really won't even need that on if you don't want it. And then finally, show recently added apps and use the full start screen. So if you liked Windows 8 and you liked the whole way that that looked in that tile format, you could turn that on. And if you click the Windows button, notice that it uses the full screen. And now I can kind of look around here to choose the different applications that I want. I will leave that turned off. And then it says show recently opened items in jump list. I leave this on as the default setting. All right, so there we go. So that's how you customize your Windows 10 desktop background. I hope that this has helped you actually figure out how to uh, make it a little bit more personalized and change those settings so that they're most useful when you're actually using them. Uh, if you like this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.